We're dating now. Seriously. Yeah. Oh, okay. What? I'm a girlfriend. Girlfriend okay. energy. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yes. no. That's cool. We're finally official. Oh, nice. Okay. So, you know, got high. Was thinking, was like, I'll, I'll go for it. He was, he's been there for me past couple times. So, anyway, gonna see how that yeah so sisters fans am i the only one worried about rodeo right now because danny has left this man alone all day long you know zach uh stopped in briefly i believe this was the season six mid-season finale when uh what he had dropped off the check at the salon and then he uh, or i know he went salon to Danny's apartment, then the law firm. I forgot which one he went to first, the check or the um, Danny's apartment. But basically, we do know that Preston was high as a kite wearing Danny's work uniform. And then uh, Zach stopped by to try to help out the situation. But, you know, it, there's only so much you could do. They made sure that Preston went in the back to change his clothes. And I believe, you know, to get him some coffee black because, you know, he likes it black. <laughs> and all that damn winking. But... Yeah, um, we never saw, like, Danny making a quick call to check in on Preston or, you know, anything to that regard. It's like she went to work, then she got off work and went over to Karen's place, and now she's talking about, hey, you know, I got a whole bag, so let me stop by your um place, Andy, you know, to get a quick shower and change clothes, and um, me and Sabrina, we can go with you on this blind date to make sure everything is cool. And all the while, it's like, um, you're talking with Tony, getting to know Tony, and in the promo for the next episode, everybody's looking all chummy. Jordan even invites all the women to come to his place at some time uh, soon where he can, you know, fire up the grill. The guys will be there, and they can just have a good time. And it's interesting because she literally talks about how, yeah, you know, there's this guy at my job, but, you know, I'm not even trying to, you know, do all that again, go through that, and you know, scenario of bringing stray home, strays home and whatnot. Me and Preston are serious now. And I'm like, for someone who's quote unquote serious with Preston, it's like you're spending time um, getting to know this dude, Tony. And all the while, your quote unquote boyfriend is at home just, I don't know, doing what. For all we know, he could be wearing another one of Danny's outfits. We don't know what Rodeo is up to. Who knows if there's an apartment for her to come home to because he possibly burned it down get into a fight with the oven because it wasn't talking to him the way that he wanted it to. I don't know. I'm just saying it, it just doesn't seem safe, like a good idea to leave Preston unsupervised for that long when he was coming off a high, like for real. Like, I just feel like we could have had a brief cutaway. We could have had a voiceover where, you know, Danny gives him a call and it's like, he's better now. It's just, he's just laying down. It's like, Danny, you know, I'm feeling a lot better. It's like, I'm never going to smoke this again. Just, when are you getting back home? Just something like that to let us know the dude's alive because it just feels messed up. Like, I'm not blaming Danny per se because Preston's a grown-ass man and the fact that, you know, he allowed Danny to peer pressure him and taking a hit. But at the same time, it's like, Danny, come on. Now, he took the hit because I feel, I feel like a Friday, it's like, Stimulate your mind, Craig. It's Friday. You ain't got nothing to do. It's like, I ain't put that weed up to your lips and made you smoke it. Might as well have. So I feel like it just feels a bit irresponsible and selfish that she would be gallivanting around, you know, oh, let me talk to uh, Karen for the 50th time about this damn baby. And, oh, I'll go on this date with um, Andy as opposed to checking in on my man. So, yeah, I, I am giving Danny the bit of a side eye. Like I said, Preston's an adult, so he shouldn't have took the hit if he didn't want to take the hit. But at the same time, Danny, you, it was your weed and whatnot. Like, you, you should check, just check on them. That, all I'm saying is check on the man. That's simply it. Because we know that Danny and Preston are going to go through some uh, rocky terrain in the near future in the show. And she's going to start interacting with Tony. So it's like, Wow, you really did Preston like that? You messed his mind up and now you're just going to kick him to the damn curb because of this creeper at your job. Nice one, Danny. And I don't want to give Danny too much flack because I really did like her in this week's episode. But still, it's like, I call it like I see it. And the fact that Danny just going to leave Preston like that to 
you know, get to know another man better is pretty messed up if you ask me. So, uh, with that being said, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.